Hi, this is DarkFox127 and welcome back to another Skyrim Creation Kit tutorial video. In today's video, we're going to be learning how to cut nav mesh. So the reason that we would be doing this rather than just deleting nav mesh in the world is because deleting nav mesh can cause a lot of issues, especially when you're running your mod alongside other mods that edit the same cell or cells nearby. You do not ever want to delete nav mesh. And this tutorial is going to show you how to cut nav mesh out, move it out of the way, and then re-nav mesh over the top. So let's get into it. Okay, so for the purpose of this video, I've come to Riverside Shack. I've got a mod on this, by the way. I'll link it in the description down below, uh, where I'm just familiar with the area, and it's a good example of where you may want to cut nav mesh out, where you need to do some re-nav meshing. So for those of you unaware, nav mesh is navigation mesh. It's used for NPCs to know exactly where they're walking, where they can and cannot go. It helps them navigate the world. If you don't update nav mesh in an area where you've placed new objects down, then they're going to wind up walking into things, teleporting to the location they need to go. It's going to break immersion and slow things down. So you should always re-nav mesh an area. Now, if you were creating a brand new mod with new cells, new world spaces, they would be void of nav mesh and you would just create nav mesh from scratch and then you could delete bits and add bits as you go because it's completely new. But if you're editing anywhere existing in the vanilla game, you should never delete the nav mesh and you should always use this method. So to start nav meshing, click on the nav mesh icon at the top here. It's like a load of red lines with dots and whatnot. And you'll see that you've got this lovely toolbar and you will see all of the nav mesh appear on screen. Now, we can't really see it very well here, so the first thing that you want to do is tidy up your view a little bit. You might find that if you've got sky on, it's very difficult to see, so turn your sky off. Also, tweak your time of day if you keep sky on, and you can also try turning the lighting on and off to get a better view. As you can see, with the sky off there and the lighting turned on, I can actually get a, a pretty decent view of the nav mesh. However, I still can't see some of it well, very well. It's hidden under the ground, and what you can do is click these options on the toolbar here, and it will allow you to have different views. So the second view will allow you to see through objects and the third view could be quite useful here. It will hide everything in the world and leave only the nav mesh behind. So you can sort of get a good view of what you need to cut out. So let's say, for example, I needed to redo the nav mesh within the shack and also just the surrounding area, similar to my mod. I've got like some decking out here, some new objects placed. Now I changed the layout of the interior with some walls. I don't want NPCs walking into what you can do is go ahead and change that view. If I'm going to be selecting a lot of triangles, I can turn off the vertices and the edges so that you can't select them. You can only select triangles. Makes it a lot easier to work with. And then what you need to do is select all of the triangles that you wish to cut out of the nav mesh, because otherwise what you would need to do is essentially delete all the nav, well, not delete, sorry, move all of the nav mesh um, out of this entire cell you can see the, the green line borders, and we'll get to that in a bit as well. Uh, what you'd need to do otherwise, your only other option is to select everything in the entire cell and then re-nav mesh. And you don't need to re-nav mesh all of this. So doing this is a lot better because you can just cut out the bit that you do need to re-nav mesh and then hook it into vanilla nav mesh. So I'm just going to select this. I'm not going to do too much, just enough, like I say, around the edges. I'm not going to show you me re-nav meshing either because I don't need to. Um, I just want to show you how to cut it in this tutorial video. So now we've got it all selected, you can see that it's highlighted a nice green. And we now need to cut it away from this nav mesh. So do not hit delete. Click on the nav mesh option at the top there. And then you want to click on move selection to separate nav mesh. You may find that you get some weird warnings. Don't worry, Creation Kit is full of them. And more often than not, they can be fixed later on or they don't actually mean much. So just hit ignore or yes to all until the errors are gone. Now, what you may see happen, it may or may not happen for you. It's gone absolutely AWOL and it looks like the nav mesh has shot off in all directions and it's absolutely broken. Don't worry, just close your nav mesh toolbar, give it a few seconds and reopen it again. And what it will do, it will update itself and you should see that you get a blue line around the edge. If you don't, then just click finalize nav mesh while you're looking at this cell and it should put the blue line around it. But ideally it will it will do this once you sort of close the toolbar and reopen it. Now you can see that our nav mesh is separated from everything else that we don't want to touch, we don't want to edit. 
You can click on any of the triangles in there. And if you hit F on the keyboard, it will fill all of the triangles. You don't have to go through and tediously click on them all again. Now again, rather than delete, we're going to move this out the way. So if you're not aware, the way that nav mesh kind of works with NPCs is as long as it's relatively flush with the ground or very close to the ground that they're walking on, uh, they will use the nav mesh. Now, if the nav mesh is too far underground or over the top of the ground, they will ignore it. So that's perfect because what we're going to do is hold down our primary click, hold down Z on the keyboard and just shift it down. Just move our mouse, move it really, really far down. So it's completely out of the way. Now what I'm going to do is change the view. So whatever view you end up using, there is the risk that when you are re-nav meshing, especially if you're in like a top down view, that you may wind up editing some of the nav mesh down there or worse, attaching your new nav mesh to that without realizing it. So what we need to do is hide that nav mesh, not delete it, just hide it, hit H on the keyboard, give it a few seconds, might take a little longer, and it should hide the nav mesh. So it's still there. If you hit Control and H, it will reshow any hidden nav mesh. But we do want to keep that hidden just so that we don't wind up accidentally editing it and it's very easy to put our new nav mesh in. And then you can go to whatever view you want to go to and you can go ahead and pretty much re-nav mesh from there which is great. So that's what you want to do. Like I say, do not delete the nav mesh. Don't do that. It will cause issues if you have other mods um, that try to edit the same area, the same nav mesh. It will just cause crashes. Don't delete nav mesh. Um, if you do use Xedit, which you should do as well to tidy up your mods and clean out any identical to master records, uh, that will also throw errors for deleted nav mesh and let you know. Might be for another video, that one. So another thing just to briefly mention are these green borders. Now these essentially connect the different cells within the world space together. Uh, the nav mesh doesn't seep over every cell. Uh, the game is split into different cells. So each cell has its own collection of nav mesh. And if you were to cut these out, then what you would need to do is essentially, let's say all this was also cut out. So I wound up with a disconnect from the other cell. Let's select all that now. It's been weird. Hang on. Close the toolbar. Reshow it. Reselect it. Let's say I move that out of the way as well. Then I'm going to use that little trick to hide it. You'll see that the green bars are there, but what you will do when you are done with your nav meshing is you will click on this Find cover edges for current cell. What that does is it marks out all the correct areas where NPCs might find cover or edges where they don't want to fall off. It will mark all of that stuff up, give it a few seconds. And then you would finalize your nav mesh within this nav mesh cell as well. And what that would do is update all of the borders as well as all of the nav mesh. And you'll see that now, because there's no green border there, uh, an NPC would not be able to get from one cell to the other. So when you re-nav mesh, and I'll do a little bit of it here. So if you do wind up re-nav meshing, just make sure my vertices are on. You need to make sure that you push these to the very edges and floor them to the ground. And then continue to nav mesh everywhere else. And then when you do finalize again, it should detect that boundary again. So just something to be aware of, uh, especially if you decide to just go ahead and re-nav mesh the entire cell. Uh, you will need to make sure that all the borders around the edges are all hooked up and you should be good to go. And like I say, when you're done, you finalize and you can also do a quick nav mesh check as well. So you can do check nav meshes, see if there are any errors. After a few seconds, it tends to show. And you can also do select triangle by index and check for nav mesh warnings there. No triangles found. And what you'll do is next warning and it'll actually pinpoint triangles that have problems, delete them, redo them, tends to fix it. But that's generally how you do nav mesh cutting. Uh, let me know in the comments section down below if you want to see more about nav mesh. Um, I mean, I'm not the best with it. It's not something that I particularly enjoy, um, but it might be something worth doing more videos on. And that is just about it for this tutorial video. So I hope you found it useful. Please let me know in the comments section below. And again, if you do want me to make more videos on NavMesh, I can maybe look into that. 
although I don't like it uh, personally. Um, but it is something that's essential to your game. Uh, be sure to go ahead and check out my website at www.darkfox127.co.uk for mods, more videos, more information about everything that I do. And you can also go ahead, hit that like and subscribe button so that you don't miss any of the other future videos. But otherwise, thank you very much for watching, and I will speak to you all next time.